friends, my name is Christopher. In this video, part two of a nine part series, I'm going to go through and tell you how I built all of these rafters. Oh wow, he climbed up into the rafters to film. As I said, this is part two of a nine part build series. They are more in-depth analysis for the separate important tasks for building a shed. There is a feature length build video that you can check out everything else, different footage, different explanations and a quick four minute time lapse if you're in the mood for something fun. With that, let's begin. So in the last video, we completely finished building the floor, which is nice. We've got this great big surface, so let's use it. So building rafters all in all is pretty easy. It's just a lot of repetitive motions. You know what I mean? You have to make sure you get your angles right, but once you make that first cut and you tweak things, then you know what you're doing and you can just repeat the process ad nauseum. And then you cut all these boards and then you cut your gussets, and, which again is tedious. And I personally hate using a uh, circular saw, but I got decent at it and it made the process go quickly. And then we set up a template and we nail everything together. So, as you can see, um, I am fortunate enough to have a nice chop saw, and I brought it out in, in wonderful weather, and I was cutting away. My roof is a, a 10 over 12 slope, so I've got uh, 50 degrees, or excuse me, 40 degrees up here, 50 at the bottom to make my 90, um, is that right? 90, 50, 40, that's right. And um, you know, you just, you make those, you make those cuts. Anyways, I simply follow the measurements that were laid out for me on my iCreatables template. Not a sponsor of this video, I just really like their stuff. Link in the description if you are shopping for shed plans and you need ideas. Eventually everything was cut and it was time to be assembled. So I first used the center line on the floor since it is an eight feet a four by eight full sheet of plywood and another four by eight sheet of plywood and it's an eight foot deck. Eight divided by two is four, so I know the center line on the floor should be the center line on the roof. You line up the points on the bottom and then you line up the bottom of the top rafters here and they should end at the very bottom corners on the floor, isn't that convenient? And then you put your crossbar down there and bada bing, bada boom, everything lines up exactly how it should. So once you've got them lined up, I used some scrap 2x4s and I screwed them into the floor and I made sure it was nice and tight and I used that as a template to slide these out, slide the other ones right in and get started. You can repeat and you know they're all going to be exactly the same. So once you slide them into place, then I use the gussets, just putting them over. I think I've got one, two, three, four, five, six nails in the top of each gusset on both sides and ten here, five in each board, again, on both sides. So it's definitely a lot of nails, but you're making a gusset sandwich. And it does a terrific job holding them all together. As you can see, I hoisted myself up here. I'm six foot five, and this is, you know, seven feet or so up in the air. I'm a 200 pound guy, and this is having no problem holding me, so it's having no problem holding the roof. I feel nice and secure with it. The one thing that I did that I don't believe I have footage of that we can talk about here, the very outermost rafter doesn't get gussets on both ends because of course on the outside you're going to have the uh, outer plywood sheathing or uh, <clears throat> siding OSB or whatever you end up doing, I did sheathing. Um, so you don't want these gussets otherwise it'll bump it out an extra 7 16th of an inch like I had here. And I added another vertical two by four, just so that I could screw my plywood, or nail my sheathing into something in the center, as opposed to having this great big open triangle here with really nothing to hold the plywood. That was important to me. Of course, you can add more beams for extra strength if you want. I don't think that I need it. This is, after all, a small shed. It's not a house, but just something to keep in mind. If I were to do it again, these are some things that I might do differently. It would have been nice if I would have set up a stop block at the end of my chop saw so that every single cut would have been exactly 
the same. For me, I have a little bit of a tough time doing angled cuts. I'm just not as familiar with them. So I'm off an eighth of an inch here and there and not always in the same spot. So these um, crossbars don't go exactly in the same spot as these diagonal bars do for me, which means some of them are slightly higher and slightly smaller than the rest, which has ultimately resulted in the roof kind of being wavy, but it's only an eighth of an inch or so for every 16 inches or 20 inches. I think these are 20, 24 inches. I'm not sure, whatever the plans say. Again, not a huge thing in the grand scheme, but if I could do it differently, that's what I would do if you're a stickler for accuracy. Overall, this is a straightforward process. It's just tedium and a lot of repetitive things to do. Um, but it is easy and if you do a good job here and you line things up, you'll have a really nice roof. So keep that in mind. Now that my floor space is free because I've completed all of these rafters, it was time to move on to the four walls here. And hey, wouldn't you know, that's part three of this series. We're gonna build the four walls and I'm going to talk through framing a door and framing a windows because those are custom and they weren't involved in the plans that I downloaded, but it was so easy that I could do it and it turned out great so you can do it too. Be sure to like and subscribe, comment down below on rafters that you've done, what I might have missed or what I would have, or what you think I could have done differently that I didn't talk about here. And uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you in the next episode. Take care guys, bye.